Hello everybody, welcome back. Hope you're well and keeping safe and what have you. What we've got today is an eBay PS4. It's obviously, it's been opened, no security stickers. So what I'll do, I'll give it a quick wipe over, kill the coronavirus, and then we'll open it up. I'll plug it in, see what it does, and then open it up, have a look. I'll put an HDMI on it. We'll just see what we get. It's got a white light. The screen has got absolutely nothing. Okay, so you don't need to be Einstein to see what's going on here. That's the port, the HDMI port. And you can see the top two or three pins have mashed backwards. They should be flush on the top of that bit sticking out in the middle. So it looks like this is going to be a swap the port job. Okay, so I'm letting the ball cool down. That is my method for getting these holes unblocked. I tried the Tronix fix method of um, doing it underneath and the pins don't line up. And you know what? It might be overkill, but at least now I've got enough room that I can play with it. I can get the pins aligned and then I cannot anchor it in. So now that the holes are unblocked, we can just literally put, put it in like that. And by the way, if you're gonna do anything like that on a table, use some heat tape. It went through two layers of that. If you can't get it to line up, which I couldn't, it was, it was over to one side. And what I've done is I've just literally bent out the legs, like these these support legs on the side, opposite to the side I want it to go. And that, what that's doing is it's pushing it along. So now, with that bent out, I'll show you under the scope, but I've got it much more, much happier with the alignment. Okay, so there it is under the scope, and you can see that just by pushing that leg out, I've managed to not only get the pins to align, I'm going to solder the pins on first and what that pushing that leg out has done is it's made it not wriggle around. So I put a bit of blue tech each side and just solder that in. that they're all uh, nicely um, soldered and spaced and no bridges so what remains to be done is I'm going to clean off the thermal paste from the APU put new thermal paste on I'll show you that quick and then uh, I've already cleaned out the power supply with compressed air it's minging but I've just blown compressed air for it blown compressed air through the fan clean the fan um, I will take apart the blu-ray drive and just clean the rollers then we'll put it all back together and see if it works
Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that. That was just a quick video of my attempt to replace an HDMI port on an eBay PS4. So that was 70 quid, and that works, as you can see, fine. So I'm not saying that's the best way to do it or the only way to do it. It's just the way I did it. It's the first one I've ever done. I've changed the chip before, but I've never actually changed the port, and they can wick a hell of a lot of heat out. So if I was to do it again, I'd use two soldering irons. I wouldn't use hot air because, as you saw, it just fell out again and caused more of a headache. Uh, for me to have to deal with again. So hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you all soon. Cheers.